Today, we will find out what would happen to your apartment if a nuclear bomb exploded in your city. Let's identify the most dangerous and safest places in your apartment. Assuming that the building is not inside the initial fireball of the explosion, in which everything and everyone would turn to vapor, the main danger, besides radiation, is the powerful blast wave that occurs after the explosion. The main danger is that air velocity can actually increase when the blast wave enters a room through a window or door. The maximum wind speed outdoors is about 163 miles per hour at an overpressure of 5 pounds per square inch. The sudden onset of a pressure wave after an explosion caused by the release of energy. While indoors, it can peak at about 401 miles per hour for a blast of the same pressure. The most dangerous critical indoor areas to avoid are windows, hallways, and doors. People should stay away from these areas and seek shelter immediately. Even in the front room facing the blast, you can be safe from high air speeds if you position yourself at the corners of the wall facing the blast. Of course, this depends on whether the building itself is strong enough to withstand the blast. Many buildings would be destroyed by the shock wave. A survivor would have only a few seconds between seeing a nuclear bomb explode and seeking shelter before the air blast occurred. People would be much safer if they could get to a purpose-built underground fallout shelter. Even places like building basements or deep sections of subway tunnels would provide better protection than being in buildings above the surface. Although many variables are taken into account when considering the impact of nuclear weapons on cities, For those who were not killed in the initial explosion, the shock wave from the blasts would be extremely dangerous. Considering only the shock wave, hazards in cities from the shock wave of a nuclear explosion would include high velocity winds turning objects into projectiles that penetrate the body, human bodies hitting objects, injuries from collapsing structures, and possibly various forms of barotrauma or injuries due to increased air pressure, such as damage to body tissues and ruptured eardrums. Civilian protection from nuclear war remains problematic because many cities lack viable underground shelter options for the public. In the event of a nuclear attack, radiation emergency, current civil defense guidelines instruct city dwellers to go inside, stay inside, and stay tuned. Ultimately, the best place to survive a nuclear explosion is outside a major city, not only because rural areas are less likely to be targeted, but also because the natural topography provides greater shelter from the shock wave. A rural area that is not in the lee of an obvious target is the best place if you want to avoid fallout and other effects of a bomb blast. A good place would be a valley where the hills would give you some protection from the high heat and the blast of bombs that explode a few miles from where you are. However, those not affected by the blast would then be at the mercy of fallout that could spread much farther from the blast site and could be carried by water and weather systems. Those outside of cities who are not directly affected by the blast and direct radiation need to be aware of weather conditions within a 30 to 40 mile radius of the target, as winds can quickly disperse radiation clouds that will rain down on the ground within hours.